Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd and fuzzy vase. What? Yes, fuzzy vase. We're gonna talk about the fuzzy vase. Let's do it, you ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. So like I said, the fuzzy vase is a fuzzy vase? No, the fuzzy vase is a specific model that utilizes a 3D printer to make a physical object that is just interesting. My buddy Daniel Noray of, uh, of the OpenRC project, and you may know 3D Benchy. Daniel Noray is the creator of 3D Benchy. He created this model called the Fuzzy Vase. And how it works is it's a, it's a vase. It's a vase model. And at specific layer intervals, there are horizontal arms that stretch out from the model, and they're one layer thick. And the idea is the printer has to bridge out to the end of that and then come back. And as the printer is bridging out and coming back, it creates a, an extrusion that hangs off the side of the vase. You do that enough and it becomes a fuzzy vase. So I'd like to talk to you about the fuzzy vase. I'd like to show you the fuzzy vases that I've printed and then I'd like to talk to you about printing your own. But first, I did print a few. So let's go to the time lapse. <laughs> Uh, that was an interesting time lapse, I think. It's a fuzzy vase, and the printer had to bring the filament out and back at specific layer intervals. Here it is, this is a fuzzy vase. You can see that the filament itself is fuzzy, right? It, it sticks out. Um, it is still PLA that I used on here. This is actually the Matter Hackers Pro PLA that's like a translucent green. And even though these little furry things are are sticking out, they're still tough PLA. In fact, here's here's another one. Uh, you can you can tell it's still it's it's PLA. It's crunchy, uh, but they do look kind of furry, which is interesting. I did print another one, and that one is this. This is the ColorFab Engen Flex fuzzy vase. And if you look, look at, ready, ready? Look at that. It's fuzzy and it's flexible, but all the, the fuzziness kind of rub weird. It's, a, it's rubber. It's, a, it's like if you made a fuzzy vase out of rubber bands. I don't know. It's kind of cool. So when it prints, obviously it just lets the filament out on the side and it's just cool. I don't really foresee a useful application of this. Uh, I don't know, if you can think of a useful application, uh, let me know, because I'm, I'm very, very curious. It's a, it's a neat project, it's, it's a neat byproduct of the functionality of a 3D printer, but I don't know how many fuzzy vases I could have in the house before my wife told me to stop making fuzzy vases. So here, I would like two things from you. One, if you can think of a practical application for something like this, maybe a comb. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Do I look better? One, think of a practical application for this sort of printing because I, I, I can't think of one, but I find it interesting. And two, print one yourself. I would love to see you give this a try. I'll put a link down in the description to the model, of course, and if you print one, please tweet it at me. I'm, of course, at Joel Telling on the Twitterverse. Uh, it, I'd, I'd love to hear what machine you printed it on, what filament you used, and, and any other settings that you used, because I just, I'm interested. This is really interesting. It's kind of neat. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you find this interesting. If you do print one yourself, please let me know about it. I'd love to see it. Uh, I put Daniel's YouTube channel down in the description. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, he's really cool. He does a lot of, here's how I print with certain filaments. Of course, he's got the OpenRC project. He's got 3D Benchy. Uh, he's got a lot of other stuff coming, so if you can, pay attention to him. He will be at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival this year as well, so I'll finally get a chance to meet him in person. A big thanks to my patrons who support me at patreon.com. Without their financial support of this channel, some things just wouldn't be possible. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give it a big thumbs up if you found it fun, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let's just call it good there. Hey, you know what? Hug each other more. I love you guys, as always. High five.